Sundays in Jakarta mean car-free days in parts of the city, and government workers are using the day to talk about environmental issues. In this case, the growing problem of e-waste and the high levels of toxic mercury, chromium, and other heavy metals in our favorite tech. These bins encourage residents to safely dispose of their old electronics so they won't end up in a landfill and potentially poison groundwater. Our goal is to reduce electronic waste in people's homes. People usually keep old electric irons, lights, mobile phones, and computers in their house. We want to collect these items from residents and avoid having them pile up at residential areas. In the first six months of the citywide campaign, more than 700 electronic devices have been collected and safely disposed of. Jakarta officials now want to expand the program to include much bigger electronics. Based on requests from electronic factories and distributors, we go out to their site once a week or once a month to collect electronic waste. We come with special trucks and e-waste manifest documents. At a special factory, electronic devices are stripped of the valuable copper, aluminum, zinc and tin components. Environmentalists are buying into the program. The focus should not be on making electronic producers more responsible for their waste. City authorities should not deal with e-waste directly because they might not be familiar with the best way to dispose of electronic products. An estimated 40 million tons of e-waste are produced worldwide every year, and only about 12 percent is recycled. Kevin Enix, VOA News.